Good morning. Welcome to my laboratory. There are two jewel thieves there. Uh, this one is an NE2 uh, high voltage jewel thief. There's the neon, and it normally works on this 3055 transistor, but I've taken that out of the circuit and I've patched in this transistor from a uh, compact fluorescent light bulb. This is a 13003 transistor that's found in the larger, or two of them, in the larger uh, CFLs. And uh, so that one goes uh, base collector emitter from left to right. So I'll just patch that in uh, to see if it would work, and it turns out that it does work. This is a depleted double A, and then this is my little uh, contact switch arrangement here. So I can turn that on, and you can see that it does, in fact, work. Okay, turn it off. And then this over here is the clothespin jewel thief uh, that I've just been working with for the past couple of days. This is the Acme Fixer circuit, uh, as exact as I could get it. That's a BC337-25 transistor in there. Uh, the toroid has uh, got it down to about 45 microhenries per winding. The spec for Acme Fixer is 38. I couldn't couldn't quite match that. Taking off one more turn would bring it down below uh, 35, and I didn't want to go too low. Uh, the other components are what he specifies in the circuit, and that's a little uh, button cell in there. And that button cell is too dead right now to light the jewel thief, uh, except once every five minutes or so right now it'll flash for a couple of seconds, turn the light on. But watch this. So here's this jewel thief. So I'm just going to go, oh, this will see if it, see if I can make it show up. There we go. See there? So, The clothespin jewel thief does have to have a battery in it to do this, but the battery apparently doesn't have to be uh, all that charged up. And I was getting it to just flash with a momentary contact. But with the full-on contact and my body as a radiator, or just maybe just touching there, has to be pretty close for it to work. So here we have uh, some kind of wireless coupling in between these two jewel thieves. Uh, just destroyed my little contact, I think. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. Something always goes wrong with these one-handed demonstrations. Okay, there we go. Now I've got it staying on all the time. And now if I take this and move it so that the toroids are pretty closely coupled or something, the light will come on. Okay, thanks for watching. Couple jewel thieves.